March this Madness is here at CU, CSU, CSU Metro right State, and DU. Pioneers beat New Mexico State yesterday. They're now 19 and 8. They've won eight in a row, 15 out of 16. This could be the year for Joe Scott's guys to go dancing for the first time. Aaron Anderson has a story. Look who caught lightning in a bottle. Ocean for the win. Yes! The DU men have won eight straight. Allen left to walk for three. 15 of 16. They're the hottest basketball team on the front range. You always want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year. I mean, that's when it really counts for us from mid-major schools at least. So, you know, we're just taking how we're playing right now and just hopefully we can just finish it out. The key was a grueling non-conference schedule, which led to a one and five start. Obviously, we would have liked to have won another one, you know, one or two games in there. But when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, it might have been the best thing for our team. We just kind of struggled in the beginning to kind of find our identity as a team. And I think when we got into conference, we started kind of figuring out who we were. We needed to kind of buckle down. Once we just started playing together, that's when I think that things started rolling well for us. With two games left in the regular season, the Pios have locked up the second seed in the WAC tournament. And they still have a shot to catch conference leader Louisiana Tech. And we put ourselves in a position to have a home weekend to sort of determine, you know, to a large extent, who's going to be the champion of the WAC. And, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us. It's just nice to know that at the end of the season, everything's in your control. If you play the way you're supposed to play and the rest of the, the, rest of the way and the rest of the season, that mm -hmm. things can go your way. People are talking about DU. The players, they're talking about the NCAA tournament, a place this program has never been before. It's a little kid's dream to play Division I basketball, play in the NCAA tournament. So obviously all the guys are really excited to kind of see ahead that we kind of have a chance to do that. And it's definitely on your conscience. On on this team's consciousness, but we just like the thing. If we just keep playing on how we're playing right now, then you know things will take care of itself. Is this a team that can do it? I definitely think so. Utopia. There's no reason why we shouldn't be there at the end of the year. Reporting for Sunday Sports Utopia. Extra, I'm Aaron Anderson.